My name's Guy Mann. That's Mann, with two N's. We're at Abington Square Park, Greenwich Village. It's called a square, but it's actually a triangle. I learned that from watching these videos this guy Phil Stein puts on YouTube. Very informative. It's just that he's a pain in the ass. He keeps asking everyone to join his YouTube channel. Sorry I'm late. Hell, incident uptown. I get a call from this maid who works for this very rich celebrity. He has a mansion on Fifth Avenue. She's all frantic. I don't understand what she's talking about because English is not her first language. Actually, English is not her second language either. Anyway, the job required the dog. So I get up there, winds up, she misplaced one of her boss's socks. I give the dog sock to smell. He immediately makes a beeline to the basement door, down to the basement, to the dryer, to the laundry room. In that dryer was the other sock. Case closed. The case of the missing sock. It's a hot July day. I'd say about 10 years ago. The incident happened right out here, right outside of Abington Square Park. This dude decides to tie up his dog to the fence outside the park here and leaves. A local dog walker sees the dog tied to the fence, stays about five or 10 minutes, notices no one coming back. He calls his lady down the street, who happens to be a pug rescue organization. Tells his old pug here tied to the fence, can you come and get her? She comes down a little while later, takes the dog back to her house. A little while later, the couple comes by whose dog it belonged to. The wife is furious. The husband's claim they only had the dog tied up for five minutes. The dog walker, who I trust, and he's a professional, he says the dog was tied up more like an hour because he wouldn't call someone to come and pick it up just for five minutes. So they call a woman up, they bring the dog back. you think that'd be the end of the story. No, she decides to press charges of dog napping. They go over to 6th Precinct and finally the cops straighten everything out. Can you imagine that? You try to do something good and it winds up like that. There's a moral to this story. Next time you decide to do something good, think it over, then act. You might want to walk away from it. Until next time, I'm out of here. Keep your nose clean. Come on, dog. You got a nice leg of lamb waiting for you when you get home. You did a good job today.